Hi, I'm Anita from Global Baby and I'm going to do a bit of a demonstration for you today of the Bugaboo Buffalo and it's a special edition classic and the colour is grey melange and I will show you it with the seat, the carry cot and also with the Maxi Cozy Cabrio Fix capsule. Now the thing that's different about the Bugaboo is the frame of the carry cot and the frame of the seat is the same thing. So what you need to do is kind of velcro the fabric part of the cot to the frame, which is what I'm doing right now. And the carry cot also has that lovely apron which I'm zipping on now and that will just keep the baby protected from the elements while they're lying in there. And now I'm going to attach the hood and that just snaps onto the frame of the carry cot and the hood has that lovely cream quilted fabric on the inside. It's a really soft fabric, it feels really nice to touch and it just looks really good too. You'll notice that now that that carry cot is put together it is self-supporting even though it's fabric sides. It won't collapse when it's sitting on the ground. Now. The carry cot goes on the pram facing the parent always. Of course you want to see your little baby when you're walking along with them. And the classic special edition does come with the bag, the matching bag. And the Bugaboo Buffalo is approved to hold a 6kg weight on the handlebar, which is a bonus that not many strollers have. There are little hooks on there that will hold the bag in place. And of course you have that extendable sun canopy so there's just a little zip on there and you can just give your baby a little bit more shade. And there's also that adjustable handlebar. I do find with the Bugaboos that there's a lot of variation in the handlebar length. They really do cater for people who are quite tall and also quite petite. The Buffalo really is an all-terrain stroller. You can use it on grass, on cobbles, even on the snow. Now the front wheels are 10 inch air filled swivel wheels and the rear tires are foam filled. And of course those front wheels will lock as well if you're going over some really bumpy terrain and you want to get a little bit more control. Now the Buffalo is a really good stroller for people who are really outdoorsy and want something a little bit more rugged or maybe if you live somewhere with a lot of variation in the weather or if you live on a farm. There are just so many situations where the Buffalo is a really good option for some people. And people have asked if I can show the rain cover on these videos so here we are. You use the same rain cover for the seat and the cot which is really quite clever and it just slides over the hood and around the base of the cot. And the really nice thing about it is it has these openings in the side so you can still access your baby if you need to or pass them something or see what's going on in there. To remove the carry cot from the frame, it's just a push on those two white buttons on the side there and then you can hold it by the carry handle. Now I'm going to show you how to attach the fabric parts for the seat. The first thing to do is remove the hood and then you unvelcro the soft sides of the carry cot. And the next thing to do is attach the seat and the seat is easier to attach than the carry cot is. The first thing to do is slide the top part over the frame of the seat at the top and just make sure that that little handle is sticking out the top there. And then there's a buckle at the bottom of the seat and at the foot of the seat what I'm doing right now is doing up some velcro. Now this little handle at the back here is what you'll use to recline the seat so when the baby's lying down or sleeping so it's important to make sure that that's sticking through the holes and then just snap on the sun hood and you're good to go. The seat can go onto the stroller frame both parent facing and world facing. Always at Global Baby we advocate strollers with the baby facing the parent. It's just really nice when you go for a walk and you can talk to each other or if they're upset you can see that they're upset so we think it's really preferable if you can to have a stroller where the baby faces you. 
and using that handle at the back of the seat we can recline the seat and we can make the seat more upright and of course you have that lovely big extendable hood as well. To turn the seat around to be facing the world you just press those white buttons at the side of the seat, lift the seat off and turn it around. Of course that seat can also recline facing in this direction. The Buffalo has a really nice five point harness so it's just a push of the buttons in there and all the five pieces spring apart and then you can put them in one by one. So it's just less twisting and it just seems a little bit easier to do. If you need to, you can also remove that bumper bar or move it to the side. That way you can access your child a little bit more easily. And to fold the Bugaboo Buffalo, you'll first remove the seat by pushing those two white buttons on the side. And then there are little triggers on the handle here. Pull them up towards yourself, then push the handle down, then lift the big middle support bar and the whole thing just collapses together. To unfold, you'll simply pull on that handle, then there's a bit of a flick of the wrists and a kick of the foot. It's the sort of thing you need to do a few times, but once you've got the hang of it, you'll be away. And now I'm going to put on the rain cover, and it's the same rain cover that you use for the carry cot, which is really clever. And also the rain cover comes included in the box with the stroller. You don't have to pay any extra for it. And it just slides on there. And it also has the little panel on the side where you can open it so that you can, you know, pass a drink into your child or whatever. And to remove the seats, you just press on the same white buttons on the side there and the whole seat just lifts off easily. Now I'll show you the Maxi Cozy adapters and quite often people who buy this bugaboo like to use it with the Maxi Cozy Caprio fix so that's the capsule that I'm going to show you today. Let's just pretend that that is my car over there with the base so the base will stay in the car and you'll simply pull the handle on the capsule to release it from the base and then you can just put the capsule straight onto the stroller. And you might have noticed that I had to push that capsule to get it into the adapters properly. But once you've got a child in there, a baby, 3kgs or so, it'll just slot in really easily. And because this capsule was a brand new one straight out of the box, it hadn't had the hood pulled out yet. So what you do is just pull that lycra fabric in between the seam and the plastic and pull it around and it clips onto the handle. To remove the capsule from the stroller, there are two white buttons on the side of the capsule there. Just push those in and then you can lift the capsule straight out. Hope you found that helpful. That's the Bugaboo Buffalo Classic with the Maxi Cozy Cabrio Fix. And we also use the Buffalo adapters for Maxi Cozy as well.